We're actually sipping on a little bourbon tonight. Mark, what are we sipping on? What is that? A little Starlight. Okay. Not a lot of people know about Starlight. It's one of the up-and-coming bourbons, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. It's finished but, in a uh, port barrel? Yeah, finished in v and, uh, VDN barrels. So a red wine barrel. Okay. Get a little get a little burn on the on the back end of it. It's a little sweet, I'll be honest. A little sweetness. It's... A little sweetness, but you taste that, that heavy red wine on the on the finish of it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. One of my favorites, man. Dave has no idea what we're talking about. He's over here drinking a Guinness. Yeah. We had a whole conversation Not a bourbon about guy. Black and tans guy. and dark and stormies and all that but, stuff. But you know, I drink, I drink, I like beers that are like aged in bourbon barrels and aged in tequila barrels oh, yeah. and wine barrels. So I was telling him, you could definitely find some beers that have some bourbon flavor oh, yeah, to it. Without a doubt. And that, I think that's what he, he's not a big beer guy. I'm sure you know. But I told him, I think I could find some that he would like because I could find some that are aged in bourbon barrels. I think it's we used to be heavy on the craft beers. Man. Uh, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say the, the craft beers. I live. So local local breweries I've always loved. I live five minutes from Gnarly Barley. Yeah, I I go in there and get beer whenever I want. Oh yeah. And I, I'm pretty cool with the owner. Pretty cool with a lot of the bartenders there. So I always get to taste things. But I hadn't, man. I hadn't had a beer in. Whew, I'd say at least nine months. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do beer either. Just he- looking at beer like, ah, I can't do. It. It's too heavy. Yeah, that, that's, oh, that's how for I sure. Feel. For See, sure. So you always call me out for not being a like a beer drinker that I don't, and you make it sound like I don't like beer. It's not that I don't well, like. That's kind of how you made it sound to me. <laughs> it's not that I don't like beer. <laughs> no, everybody loves like a nice cold beer. You cut yeah, the grass. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love. Beer. I was drinking damn non-alcoholic beer because I just wanted something that tasted like. <laughs> yeah. beer. Let's be honest. You got that for free. That's why we tried that. <laughs> I did get it for free. It's fine. Shout out. I am a um, seltzer guy though. I love. A, I love a good seltzer. I love a good seltzer. What's your favorite seltzer? Oh man. I'm a, a lot of people don't know it because we don't have it in Louisiana, mm-hmm. but, you know, I'm, I'm a Happy Dad seltzer. Yeah. You ever had one of them? Happy Dad? Uh-uh. He put me onto it at his his house one time. It's, it's uh, I mean, it's it's a basic seltzer. He's going to probably play it up a little more than I will, but it's good. I like it because, like, if you try, like, a High Noon or what's it? What's the other one? Uh, the other big one, Neutrals. <laughs> Neutrals, yeah. yeah. Uh, Truly and all that stuff. It's too sweet. Or oh, high yeah. Noon's, like, overcarbonated. A Happy Dad, I'm a big fan of, like, uh, sparkling water. Yeah, and Happy Dad's like sparkling water with just like that perfect amount of flavor. Yeah, and my wife's I got like every type of seltzer you could imagine. We got the Sonic seltzers. Oh my god! In the oh fridge, man. like the it's the ocean water flavor and all of this other shit. Anything you could want, she's got it there. And then they got like the Corona seltzer. Yeah, Bud Light seltzers. Yeah, Everybody's Bud got Light their seltzer. seltzers now. Everybody's doing a seltzer now. It's a seltzer party. Uh, but no, back to the fun fact. Something I was gonna throw out. Did you know? See, I done lost it now. Scotch whiskey is distilled twice, and Irish whiskey is distilled three times. For this reason, the Irish claim their whiskey is better than Scotch whiskey. Did you know that? I did not. I didn't know that either, because to be completely honest with you, when I drink a whiskey or a bourbon or anything, I don't gravitate towards Irish whiskey. I don't care for it. I feel like it's, it's, it like burns, like it's very, it's very hard. It doesn't seem like it's distilled more than other whiskeys. I can say back in the day you used to care for it. We used to be heavy on Jameson back oh, yeah. in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I got married and my, my, my groom's cake was a Jameson cake. You know? I recall. I love that. Um, no, it's fun. I'm going to tell a fun story now. I actually was never super high on Jameson. I'll be honest. Taking a Jameson shot, one of the worst shots you can possibly take. Oh, no man. shot burns more than a Jameson shot. You, you could sure throw, bro, you could, you could throw Jaeger out. You could throw all these other random things that people are grossed out by. But I swear to God, I will take any other shot. I'll take Rumble Mints. No. I don't think anything beats a good old pickleback. But if you need a pickleback, then is the shot good or is it just like, I mean, like what's happening? You're just drinking the pickle juice because you like the flavor of the pickle juice, right? I mean, that's you're fair. You're a pickle juice fan, right? Yeah, I like pickle juice. Oh, yeah. Everybody likes a good pickle juice. Pickle juice. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I hear you. It's I had a topic off of this, kind of. What you got? Jump in. This so if you could, if you had to give up one alcohol forever. It's gone for good. What's it going to be? Ooh. Oh, man. Uh, I think it's easy. What you got? I say gin. Gin. So gin. I, I think that, too, because I don't really drink gin. But at the same time, it's like if I really wanted to be healthy, switching to, like, gin, just gin and whatever, gin and soda, gin and whatever, it's a little healthier. But when you say healthy, I think tequila is the healthiest out- liquor there is, right? Why? I, I don't know. I want, I want you to. It's the most natural. Okay. Tequila is what I'm getting rid of. Really? really? But you know, like I don't drink, Damn. I don't really drink margaritas like that. 
I can't. I, I can't do shots. First off, I'll be the first one to tell you I'm a bitch when it comes to shots. You're a gagger. Yeah, it's not. No, it's not even that. <laughs> it's not even that. I just he'll tell you I don't like liquor that much. Yeah. Not at so, all. I mean, I'll dr- I'll drink it, but it's just it's not my favorite. It's not. You're you're not going in the bar and saying, hey, give me a right. Give like me a I'll get a, I'll get a crown on the rocks or something. Yeah. Like see, that. I can get like a crown and coke. I can do that kind of thing, but I can't just do it straight. I'll get rid of tequila. That's it's a, this is definitely a hot take. I don't think anybody's going to agree with me. I, I think I might agree with the gin thing. Can I get rid of beer? Yeah, whatever you want. See, it's 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 a fine I believe, line. I'm leaving like, this open to you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whatever, whatever your preference is. Because I'm because like on a, on a slow day, I would like to sip on beer all day. You know what I'm saying? Like like tomorrow, like tomorrow, we're going to do stuff. Right. I don't want to get wasted. I'm not trying to be like falling down by the time I get home after an all day thing of drinking bourbon or whatever hard liquor. So maybe I need to keep beer. I might I might get rid of I might get rid of gin. I yeah. might get rid of gin. Let me ask you this. If you're going to get rid of beer, do you get rid of craft beer or do you get rid of all beer? All beer. I think all beer. I think, you, you know, now we're getting now we're getting into random rabbit holes. <laughs> but like. Well, I don't, I don't think so because you can, you can get rid of craft beer, and that's more so your IPAs, mm-hmm. your stouts. I feel you like. can, creep your, you oh, can yeah. keep your ultras. Can I just get rid of stouts? Can I pick that? Can I choose that? Get rid of stouts. I wouldn't. Or like porters. Get rid of porters. Ah, I know. You're missing out. <laughs> That's probably my favorite. You get a good vanilla porter. How do you drink the whole thing? What do you mean? How do I drink the whole thing? I can't easily. Do it. I like the peanut butter porter. I can't. That's do good it. too. I porters are porters are one of the more slept on ones because they're stronger. You don't have to drink as many of them. You can't. You drink one porter. <laughs> you, you're walking around feeling like you got to go lay down. Like you're, you, you feel like you just oh, ate the a, biggest meal. Well, there's, a, there's a strategy to drinking beer, right? Like you got to eat light. Like if you about to drink, if you know you about to have a night of beer, you can't drink. You can't eat heavy. It's like you might go, you might have an appetizer, and then we drink it. <laughs> I don't know if I do a stout. If I when I did stouts, stouts would have to be a wintertime beer for me, and I'd have to only have a stout if I was sitting by a fire. I can't Other do than it. that, I, I couldn't. I can do see it. that. I can see that. But it, it, it's funny that we talked that you brought up the Irish whiskey. I got a question for you about Guinness. What you got? Because a lot of Irish, they love Guinness. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's what's the difference in? Uh, a normal stout and like a, a Guinness double you, bock or something like that. You you got me. I don't know. I have no idea. I I ain't a beer aficionado. <laughs> I just I just know what I like and what I don't like. Because I see a lot of but I see a lot of Irish style stouts. Yeah. And I've, I've never looked that deep into it. I don't know. I really don't know. I got a buddy that used to brew his own beer and knows everything there is to know. He could answer that for you. But let me ask you this: Do you taste the difference in in a different Styles of beers? I think so. Yeah, for like, sure. You know, because like bourbon, I can, I sit there and try to dissect it. Right. And I, I feel like not a lot of not a lot of people do that. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But like when you when you find something that you truly enjoy, you want to learn more and more about it, and you start hitting, mm-hmm. getting those small little notes about it. Like yeah. How you said the the bourbon, you, you taste a little sweetness on the on the front end of it. Mm-hmm. You, do you feel that same way with beer? Oh, for sure. I mean, especially if you get into like you talking peanut butter and I'm talking vanilla, then for sure you're getting the difference, right? Without a doubt. Um, and then once you, I mean, everybody, you know, if I put a bunch of beers in front of you, you could pick out the IPA. Oh yeah, right oh, for sure. Yeah. Like you can you taste the flower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think there's some where you can't, like the lighter ones. I can't tell the difference that much. I mean, I guess I I could if I really tried, but I think the average person wouldn't. But you think the average person could tell the difference in different beers or different bourbons? Got to be beers. I right? think I, I think that beer. yeah, the average person's gonna know the difference in beers, not bourbons. Yeah, like I think if you put a bunch of bourbons in front of me and just have me try them, I don't. You're gonna gag every time. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this Maybe. Guy. Can, this we, can guy. we give him the nickname of the gagger? <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> That's the third time we said it. We gotta at least like acknowledge it. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. All right, Gagger, it is. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You shouldn't say fuck it to that. I don't give a shit. What am I doing? <laughs> no, it's fair. I-